In today's video, I'm going to share with you my recipe for these delicious apple pie bars. And for this video, I will be doing a voiceover because on this particular day, Olivia was enjoy, enjoying listening to her music and I didn't want to make her shut it off. I will be getting my recipe out of this book, Apples, 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 by Barbara Archer. The ingredients that you're going to need for the crust are two cups all-purpose flour, one-fourth cup sugar, but I will be using stevia blend, half a teaspoon salt, one cup margarine, and I will be using my dairy-free margarine, a half a teaspoon baking powder, and two egg yolks. For the filling, you will need four cups of apples, peeled, cored, and sliced. I used about five apples for mine, for this recipe. A half a cup of sugar, but like I said, I'm using stevia. A fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. One teaspoon ground cinnamon. And a fourth of a teaspoon ground nutmeg. Since I am using stevia blend instead of sugar, um, and the stevia blend is twice as sweet as sugar, so it called for a fourth of a cup of sugar, and I am putting in an eighth of a cup. And then for the filling, it calls for a half of a cup, and I will put a fourth of a cup. Spread three-fourths of the crust mixture evenly onto the cooking, cookie sheet and pressing it in evenly. You will save the remaining crust mix for the crumb topping. I was having a little bit of an issue uh, with the crust mixture sticking to my fingers, so I started sprinkling a little bit of flour on the surface and that really helped a lot. So I would recommend that you uh, sprinkle the surface with a little flour as you're working to get this spread out um, evenly. You want it to be kind of thin because it's like a pie crust.
For the crumb topping, you will take the remaining crust mixture, add a half a cup of rolled oats and a teaspoon of cinnamon and mix thoroughly and then sprinkle on the top. And you bake this in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until the apples are tender. It took mine about more like 45 minutes. And here is what it looks like when it's all done. Now it's not hot out of the oven, it's still a little bit warm. And while it's a little bit warm, I am going to drizzle this with a um, coconut um, butterscotch sauce. It's dairy free. Now you can uh, use uh, any kind of topping you want on it. A caramel sauce, you could just do a confection of sugar um, and water mixture, a glaze type of thing whatever you want to do but I had this sauce on hand and I just thought it would make it even more delicious like a caramel apple pie and here it is dished up and ready to eat and it was absolutely delicious I would share it with you guys but it didn't last long in my house with my family. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. I hope you all decide to give it a try. And as always, the complete instructions and ingredients will be found in the description box below. Thanks so much for joining me today as I made this wonderful apple pie bars. We'll talk to you later, friends. Bye-bye.